Welcome, FNUs to 57 here. Once again, I'm on my Xbox Series X to bring you yet another video. For today's guide, I will be showing you how to get the Don't Touch the Deck achievement slash trophy, which is a rare achievement worth 30 gamer score in the brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign. We're playing via early access. And what you have to do is in Mission 12, Dark Water, you need to advance 90 meters towards the front of the ship without touching the deck and when it says deck it kind of gives us a bit of an idea by the achievement art on exactly what we need to do so I've paused my game a little bit early on just to show you one thing that'll make it a lot easier remember you can do this on any difficulty but I would recommend doing it on regular recruit actually seems to be harder than regular for some reason uh, I think it's enemy placement. So before you get to this point where you have to actually go to the ship, you're going to want to make sure that you have your default starting weapon, the FTAC Recon, and you're going to want to make sure that you picked up the M4203. Um, and the reason for that is because the grenade launcher will make it a lot easier to clear the groups of enemies on the ship. You don't absolutely have to have this weapon, but it will make it easier. This weapon is located at the very beginning of the mission, right next to the crappy way to die achievement porta potty enemy. You can check out the link for that video, which is in the description. So once you have your weapons, make sure you're locked and loaded with as much ammunition as you can. And then once you go through the little scripted cutscene, you'll end up on the boat, which is where we need to get on top of something so that we are not on the deck. Secure those controls. Stop this vessel, yep. How do we board? Take the rail. All tight, sign in. Okay, we finally got it there. Uh, the toughest part of this achievement is actually getting over the driver's seat of that little boat that you're on and then getting up onto the red crate. After this, take your time and eliminate the crates or eliminate the enemies hiding behind the crates. And you can either go to the right or the left side. I'm going to go to the left because I think it's a little bit easier. But uh, it's personal preference at the end of the day. And try to get a checkpoint <laughs> as soon as possible. Because getting over the boat, you have to like keep jumping to get past that seat. And it's a royal pain in the ass. So that jump right there up to this red crate is pretty much like the worst one of the game. Go ahead, get up here. Be very careful when the ship is listing. Take your time, eliminate the hostiles. You can easily die in this section. You may have to push the movement stick in the opposite direction that the ship is listing so that you don't fall off of the side of the ship. And I would recommend taking your time during this sequence. The game makes it seem like you need to do this quickly, when in fact, you really do not. If you fall off, just restart from checkpoint. So if you're not sure if you're going to fall off of a crate, look at the crate. It's more important to watch your footing than it is to really worry about going quickly. You don't have to worry about the large shipping containers moving around. They're all going to be stationary. And once again, we can go to the right or we can go to the left. We're going to continue towards the left and then there's going to be some more enemies that spawn 
right around that structure. You do want to take your time and take out all these enemies if possible there is a slim chance but still a chance that one of them will get the harebrained idea of throwing a grenade at you and if they do that chances are you're going to get killed It's very weird how accurate they can be on a moving ship with their grenades. Now see, technically we're not on the deck, we're on this upper level of the deck right now. So since we're not on the deck itself, we're good to just kind of casually walk here. And if you did everything correctly, you'll get your don't touch the deck achievement right there. So, in dark water, advance 90 meters towards the front of the ship without touching the deck. If you don't see the achievement pop up right away, then the other thing to do, because this game is a little glitchy with pop-ups, is just go check the club, and you should see the achievement art right there. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment, and I will do my best to help you guys out. This is a tricky, annoying achievement to get, so I am here to help out any way I can. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and smash those like and subscribe buttons. That greatly helps me out the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Till next time, stay frosty.